Do you ever think about death? Back to our stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. Ugh. Hello. I'm an idiot. Uh, and Kavala on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Oh, juicy content. It's so juicy. And thank you for watching Patreon and follow us on official Twitter account. What? And today hey. we were reacting to a long video, what? but uh, in order a long one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, get your five cups of my. Uh, but in order to understand you guys, special so, request, so we don't. Um, Make you mad by calling them Jack Sparrows. We are reacting to a little video about the the Agoris. The Agoris. Wait uh, a minute. You mean they predated Jack Sparrow? Yeah. And since a lot of you misunderstood what we were saying, I wanted to. Since oh yeah, and obviously we don't know these people very well, so I want to learn more about them. Of Especially course. since we're going to see that movie with yeah. Saif Ali Khan. Yeah. Um, but Saif Ali Khan. Read the disclaimer for me, real quick. Please. <clears throat> The Agori Nagasadu are a small group of aesthetic Shiva, believe in Shiva as supreme being. They engage in post-mortem rituals. For those of you studying at home, post-mortem means after death. They often dwell in charnel grounds, smear cremation ashes on their bodies, and use bones from human corpses for crafting kapalas, skull caps which Shiva and other Hindu deities are often ironically depicted holding or using. They renounce all social taboos to seek moksha, freedom from the cycle of reincarnation. They are extremely secretive. They are feared by few and misunderstood by many. Might contain graphic content information. Proceed with caution. While well, we're in. <laughs> you, you, you had me with proceed with caution. The minute you say graphic content, be warned. Okay, great. Let's start watching. Unless YouTube's going to demonetize us for it. No, That's so. true. We don't like that. No, no, no. We don't like that. But... Strap in. Uh, let's learn some stuff. How long is this thing? 17. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here we go. They've been around for a while, so I guess they would have some, uh, a lot of history. They are feared about. by few. There's two segments of this video. The first one was trimmed out of a documentary. The second one was taken from a video uploaded by Aisha Foundation. One of the more interesting subjects that I photographed on this trip was Mahesh, the Agoria Sadhu. What made him interesting to me was his backstory. He spoke pretty good English, so Still he could explain to us um, his past. But he was a, a very well-paid engineer. He always felt that there was something missing in his life, and that's why he chose to be an Agori. As you can imagine, in any country, leaving a well-paid job is something that's very looked down upon, and it's very hard to understand why like someone would do that. Leaving like fourteen to become million dollars. Where he is, um, but he really, he, he told me all he wants is just peace and quiet. He just wants to focus, and Agori is the path that he chooses to do that. My name is Mahesh, and I just stay in one Having a good pool of money, everything was there with me. But I thought, let me have a change in life. And by your voice, I will change. Of living. You don't shots. Money was there. That doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean that you get all the happiness together if money is there. There are certain things which you, you cannot buy with the money. Correct. What money can buy, I have brought all the things. Money can buy this camera, money can buy that, this, everything. But there are certain things which you cannot buy money. With money you cannot see God. So I thought, okay, let me see God for this, keeping aside money. Then they asked me, Guru, that's my teacher. He said, see, without your parents will, you cannot go see God and all like that. First take their permission. The permission left my house, not even taking a single rupee penny, not even a single penny I had in there. Without tickets, I can I went into the train and came back to Varanasi. And I came up this side and I found it was very quiet, simple, practicing it for almost 10 years, not willing to go back. Well shot. 
believe it's pronounced Belgori, yes. And we understand what it's like to have to <laughs> mute something because of a copyright issue. Yes. <laughs> if it's too long, I'll cut it. So don't worry. Whatever you see in this world is illusion, is what he just said. Hmm. These are deeply spiritual people. Nice shot. Wow. This illusion will attract you. Saying all things are immaterial. Yeah, if you couldn't read the subtitles, saying it's all illusion, it's not permanent, it will change. Today we're wearing this, and tomorrow it may not be Everything there. Everything will vanish one or the other day. This building also may vanish one or the other day. So it's a lot of Maya illusion. That was abrupt. Now, that brings me to another thing when people find, for example, what happens in, in Banaras, things like Aghoris. People, some people, foreigners, and talk to me. They also find that insanity. They think, "What is this?" I mean, like, you know, people are going and 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 you know, 
doing bizarre things you know eating dead bodies or you know experimenting with various other things what is it also is something which i think for everyone it will be they what they not, explain that they have not probably visited the scientific laboratories biological laboratories where they do absolutely that. bizarre things with various creatures yes or no yeah all that is done with the intention of well being how much well being comes out of it we don't know isn't it once in a way something comes out rest of the time we are only doing bizarre things in the laboratories aren't we even in, even in a high school if you study biology you are cutting open frogs and looking into this and that yeah. it's quite bizarre yeah isn't it quite bizarre yes sir. it's quite bizarre but all of us have done it and continuing to do it as I if that's the only way to learn hmm? i hate it when i so i hate it what they are doing is as i said there is still prana in the body that is dead so they are sitting there if you go there to manikarni kan harishchandra ghat agori will be sitting there watching everybody who will come there inquire how old is this person how did he die that's why some of them who don't want that to be known they covering with plastic sheets you know where people cannot see how old is the person they won't say how old was the person but the agori is want to know if it's a young person somebody who was vibrant life and for some reason he died they want that kind when that happens they want to do work there they want to make use of the energy that's released once the body begins to burn this prana has to exit immediately when that exits they want to make use of that life energy to do something with themselves now people won't give it to them because they don't want their dear ones to be used like this so what these people will do if it is there they'll grab the body and run how do they get the bodies so right now don't you go to africa and catch thousands of monkeys and bringing it to bring it to <laughs> your laboratory to cut them and to do all kinds of experiments all the monkeys are thinking what's wrong with these people why are they doing these bizarre things to us yeah but they are alive and you can see that the, the, you are you are injecting chemicals in them and you see the reaction that's, and then you decide that's but here the, the body yeah. is dead that's what i'm saying if the nails are growing if the hair is growing some life still exists right that part of the life they want to use they don't want to do a live person because it will lead to human sacrifice they don't want to do that they're waiting for the dead to come what energy is released from the dead body from cremation they want to use that if you do not know the science of that you cannot just think it's all bizarre yes it's an extreme way of doing it it is not for everybody So it is something yeah. that should be done without you know without coming into the notice of a society but unfortunately everywhere there is population today there was a time they would be here they would hardly be anybody they would do what they want to do for their growth and well being so oh, let me be a little cynical here what is the contribution to of an agori to the society to a human kind what have they done for us i mean if you talk about science i can say yes those monkeys which have been used ultimately you've got some medicines you've got some 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 uh, certain things which you can fight the diseases and stuff like that but what has an agori given to the world which they should be proud of and we should give them a sanction to uh, do things which uh, a human being does not find palatable what is beneficial to a society and what is not at different times different times in history different things people think is beneficial in for example looks like in tamil nadu in ancient tamil mm-hmm. history the greatest title that a man can receive is aayir aane konnavan that means one who killed slain 1000 elephants he is the real man well virapin is almost halfway there don't kill him why do you treat him as a criminal just why don't you provide him with another 500 he claims he killed some 500 and not elephants if you provide him another 400 and odd he will be the greatest man in tamil nadu why don't you give him out of time isn't it is it not context not contextually right so now whatever you are talking of science as creating great benefits it is only contextual now already it's beginning to happen all the environmentalists are trying to block, block every scientific thing because people are beginning to understand in the name of development we completely destroying the very source of our well being tell me what is it that's destroyed this plant 
Greed. It's essentially technology, isn't it? Yeah, but technology uh, is, is coming out of the yes, design. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's a great of humans. But I'm saying back what humans, provided, which what facilitated. comes from pride, mostly you though. <laughs> there was Alexander the Great who wanted to conquer the whole world, but they couldn't do it. But it is the technology which did it, isn't it? Yeah. So is technology bad? No. It is just that it's in the wrong hands, how it is used. So the type of technologies which were fifty years ago, now we are looking down at it. How could somebody do this nonsense? If you see a chimney spewing smoke, today you think, oh my god, they pollute. Hundred years ago when they saw a chimney in Manchester city, they thought, wow, isn't it? So you are saying that agoris have become uh, out of context? No, I am not saying they are out of context. They have no context to the society. Their context is their ultimate well-being. They are only looking at the ultimate nature. How the society is today, they know and we know that what is true today will be looked down upon tomorrow, what is great today will be thought as the most horrible thing day after tomorrow. Relativism. This will anyway happen in the social structure. You are made to believe that this is it. And tomorrow, great your next yes. generation will stand up and say what you did is the most idiotic thing, what you thought was a great thing. So they are not getting involved in the context of the society. They are only involved in the ultimate nature of their being. So they don't care what the society thinks. So they always stayed away from society. But today society is occupied just everything. They have no place to be. So by that logic, we can define any, uh, you know, we can justify any perversion. See, they are not causing harm to anybody. Never are they causing harm to anybody. Have you heard of any Aghori attacking anyone? No. He is doing something with himself. He is not on some other seat. So people are taking drugs, people are drinking themselves to death, people are smoking and blowing it in your face. They are not doing any of those things, they are in remote places doing their own thing with themselves, not with somebody else. Yeah, that's, so that's the point. That's the point. They, they, are, they are free to do uh, what they want. Only with themselves, they are not doing it with anybody else. As far as they don't. Yes. As far as they don't scare the society, as far as they don't… See, the scaring the society is because society has just… Populations have exploded and we are just everywhere. Yeah. Where is a secluded place to Right, that's a point. <laughs> that's a point that he, if they want to live… And this explosion of the population is society's… Society is a culprit, not Agoris. They don't reproduce at least. Yeah. <laughs> so then that over glorification of Agoris, when we hear that they are… they are this… they have got these superpowers and all that, that probably is exaggeration and they are, uh, uh, they are selfish, self-centered, no, no, no. experimental See, beings. What is super and what is not super is again contextual. See, today you can pick up a little bit of plastic and metal in your pocket and speak to somebody in America, yes? If, if only you could do this hundred years ago, we would have treated you as God. So it's only contextual. The thing is not about powers, it is just about they want to evolve to a place where what you hold as something that you abhor, they are trying to befriend that because the moment you like something and the moment you dislike something, you have divided the existence. And once you divided the existence, you cannot embrace it. So they are going yeah, to whatever you would not He's be very able meta. to stand. He's very what meta. is most abhorrent for you, that is what they befriend because they want to take like away to ask what him, they like and what they I'd like to ask like. him his definition of existence sense. versus being. Yeah. So this is a very interesting in conversation, the this whole thing. He's a good yeah. interviewer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Even if you don't agree with them, it's, it's, it's an interesting <laughs> okay. conversation. On the other hand, you have this… Either <laughs> otherwise, successful for some people, that's all that matters, it works. Yes. It is not for you and me, but for somebody it works. I am not against anything that works. If it works, it's fine with me. Yeah, but it, it works for them and they can't ever, ever tell you how it works, how it works. Right. right. They can say that Great I'm question. happy, so let me be. That's what they can say. They're not even talking about happiness. We know it works. Yes. I mean, it works, okay, in a certain way. In what way? You because can define certain transformation, certain capabilities they display, which is otherwise not possible. Huh, interesting. So, wait yeah, a minute. It, wait a minute, <clears throat> that was it? Well, it was a snippet of a, a documentary. Uh, oh, hence why we didn't get any of the graphic content. Yes. Gotcha. Um, so, uh, <coughs> that was, that was especially the second part, uh, I mean, it was interesting to see the Agori and him talk, and uh, right. they, they're very epic looking people, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Especially that one that was just sitting there with the skull. Yeah. Was like, 
Well, and it, it there, and then the conversation was actually very interesting. It's even if you don't agree with certain things, it's always interesting to hear two people with very different Absolutely. opinions. As long as it's not politics, because that's just annoying. But <laughs> yeah, like it if, would it's, be, if it's, it'd be nice to see people talking politics the way those two men were yeah, talking. Like, and they have one has a point. The other yeah, they're genuinely point. wanting to understand the ones expressing, and I'm sure there were times. One said something that the other one didn't agree with, and rather than negate them, mm -hmm. that was that was really a good example of proper uh, Q and A when you're getting to know each other and maybe disagree with something. Uh, yeah, and the, whoever that interviewer is, he's really good. Really good. He he, he did a really good did job. Did a good job of questioning, but being respectful. Yeah. Um, and like we said, we don't know anything about Agoris. Uh, no, and so this like, may be way off base. Yeah, so you can tell us. I was wondering, because it said at the beginning they sometimes eat humans. Right. So is that old, like, oh, back in the day, Agoris? Because he says they don't hurt, that this guy right, that's, said they don't hurt. That's why I said any, where do they get their dead bodies? Yes, yeah, so I don't know if they're, like, um, people, like, when they, like, a donor card or something, like, they want to give right. them. Or is it a different agori? Or I don't yeah. know. These are the questions we have. And also, they look both <clears throat> those guys, which just may be the case, look extremely <clears throat> slender. Saif Ali Khan's a beefy dude. Yeah. So I, I want I'd love to know how in depth Saif Ali Khan got into portraying an agori. Because if it were you or I, I know we would be full immersion yeah. of I want to represent this this people group. I want to learn about them and I want to maybe, do everything I can. Maybe he's not an agori anymore. Maybe like, maybe he like was yeah. an agori and keeps some practice. And maybe there's a difference <clears throat> of ways agori ism, if that's the word, is practiced. I don't know, but it is intriguing. Never heard about this before. Yeah, I, I'm glad to watch this because we obviously we're going to see the Saif Ali Khan film, and so yeah. we'll know a little, at least a little bit more background. Yeah, uh, behind certain things that he's doing in the film. Yeah, uh, which will be interesting. This made me want to know more, though. I felt like there was a lot. Yeah, that I didn't tell us. Uh, I'll ask the people who made this for me what the documentary is because that conversation alone was quite interesting. Um, just to hear the juxtapositions of the two that um, are completely, basically opposite. Yeah. And I, even if that guy believes some of the stuff, he's a good interviewer. And kind yeah. Of, as a good interviewer, it was something that a lot of people are don't agree with or don't whatever or don't think is like the right way. Um, he had the uh, kind of devil's advocate interviewer, mm -hmm. which is what you want. You want these people to be able to answer these questions, right? And kind of give people the answer. And the important thing about doing an interview like that is that you allow them. To, you ask a question based on your particular point of view, mm -hmm. logic, everything else, mm -hmm. and then you let them answer it. And whether you agree or you don't agree, you just let their answer sit. Yeah. And it, that's what he did. His job is not to debate. His exactly. job is to interview. Exactly. And so he, I think he did a masterful I, job. I did too. Honestly. Um, so Very I'm, intriguing. I'm assuming he's a, a, uh, a seasoned interviewer. I'd really like to know more about this, the Agori. Yeah. It really would. So if, there, if there's more videos, please send it to us. Uh, if there's some information that was misinterpreted, as always, you'll let us know down in the comments. I am a little disappointed that there was no Sartage. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get a bunch in the film. <laughs>